So the day is finally here for all you Final Cut enthusiasts. Uh, Dehancer is now available in Final Cut, which is amazing news for you Final Cut fans. Uh, Dehancer is undoubtedly the best film emulation plugin on the market, I would say. So you can now make fantastic film-like images within Final Cut. These images we're using here were shot on the Panasonic GH5S uh, in V-Log. I like to use V-Log for the flexibility in post colour grading. I think it's very important that we do that. Um, but if you're shooting Rec. 709, Dehancer will still do an amazing job. I'm by no means a colourist. Uh, I come at this more from the cinematography angle, but I mean, I'm going to show you even someone like me can achieve amazing results using Dehancer, using a very, very easy uh, three-step process in Final Cut, which I'll show you right now. Step one is I like to throw on the colour wheels, which we'll be using for balancing highlights, shadows, and maybe a bit of temperature adjustment. Um, I'm very much into my conversion LUTs. Like I said, I'm not a pro colourist, so I have to f um, rely strongly on the LUTs. Uh, I like to use this MLUT loader, which is a free download. There's loads of different free ones you can get, it doesn't really matter. And the LUT I used for this particular one um, there's a company called Lutify who um, released uh, this entire Cinepack series and within that there's a movie inspired looks set and within that um, I used I think Suicide Squad number three and straight away you can see mm, pretty nice right off the bat but we need the secret sauce don't we we need the dehancer on there for that if you really want to go to that next level of the the grainy uh, film look. Um, one thing I will say about Dehancer when you first l um, load it up, when you first install it and you first use it on Final Cut, you need to scroll down to the bottom and go to check profiles and this will install all the many, many film profiles that you're going to get the option to use. Okay, and as you can see, all good. You've got 63 um, film profiles and the use of 68 different camera profiles. I mean, it's so in-depth, it's unbelievable. It's Like I said, it's probably the number one film emulation um, plugin that you can use at the moment on the market. It does start off a little bit desaturated, but that's going to come back when we choose our film prints. And what I did for these particular shots, uh, I used something a little bit um, left field. The, the one it starts you off on is the Kodak Vision 3 250D, which probably is the best one, to be honest. And you could just use that off the bat, but um, I went a bit crazy and used the Fujichrome CDU. And I combined that with the, the Kodak Film Print. Um, and as you can see, we've gone a little bit towards... Uh, a bit, we've gone into the realms of the purple but that's okay because we're going to pull that back yeah, using the, the tint on the colour wheels and I think we're going to raise the mids just a little bit as well just so we can see what's going on with our talent's face so back into Dehancer and really you can have so much fun um, enjoying the, the many many sliders that you've got to mess around with the image I mean you can change the exposure you can change the the saturation it's, uh, it's so useful I mean it's very very powerful most of them I just leave as is in terms of exposure and the colors maybe we can nudge this a little bit more I don't know something like that if you're going for a really sort of like the, the film, the, you know, the cinematic tealy type look. Uh, film grain is why we're here. Obviously, it's the number one reason that you're going to use Dehancer because of the amazing the film grain emulation, which is really, really perfect. I mean, it gives you a beautiful film grain right off the bat. I find it, to be honest, a little bit too much The when, when you first plug it in. So I'd like just to bring them down a little bit on the sliders. And if you need even less and you want a kind of a far more smoother look, I find the positive grain 
is even you can see uh, the positive green is far less aggressive. Uh, Halation is also a wonderful, wonderful effect that I like to deploy. Uh, now, Halation is an effect that you get on 35mm motion picture film, um, which is the, the highlights um, reacting, I think, to the light going through the film, something like that. And if you really crank up the, the Halation sliders, you can see exactly the job that the Halation is doing, and it adds that red outline. I think it's something to do with the film hitting the uh, the light coming through the film and uh, returning to the film from behind, something like that. I don't know, but it's a wonderful film effect, um, which, as you can see, what you're getting there, I mean, it's, you wouldn't be able to do that manually, not in Final Cut. I mean, maybe you can, but it's going to take a long time. And I like to use a bit of Bloom as well, which blooms the highlights. I mean, this is also very strong, so you need to be careful, but... I mean, you can go in so many directions with this, just to add that extra dreamy level. Uh, so, I mean, you can see where we've gone there using, you know, very, very quickly in just a couple of minutes. If we toggle on and off from Dehancer, I mean, it's wonderful. It is literally the best film emulation plugin you can get on the market. It's now available on Final Cut and you can get 10% discount using the discount code GK10.